Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Craig Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, import Poser's runtime into our uh, Carrera runtime. Uh, and the reason you want to do this, I, I just got finished uh, purchasing uh, Poser for the first time in years and uh, they've kind of upped their game in the uh, model department. If you haven't checked it out, it's kind of probably worth a look. Um, this is one of their figures. This is uh, Simon and uh, yeah, he's really cool. Uh, got a preset pose on him. Da, 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 da. Now, I'm going to remove the runtime to show you how to do that, and then we're going to work our way backwards from this. This is the poser runtime. It's chock full of really, really good stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove it. <laughs> no, uh, remove folder. Uh, go down here, remove folder, kapow. And now your folder's gone. Now, uh, one of the reasons that you want to have this in your runtime is... Uh, if you go to import uh, something, let's go ahead and, and import something. You got to go all the way back to users shared, and it's hard to find. It's you, you never remember where it's at, but it's users shared, and then uh, Poser 10 content, and then you go to runtime, libraries, character, uh, yeah, we'll do more people. Uh, oh, this is a cool one. Uh, Creech 8, open, okay, turn off the limits, and that was a long, arduous process to get this really very cool figure in here. It has, when it comes in, it comes in uh, being a poser, poser figure, so it's a little shiny, uh, there's a little more glare on it, but it's a really cool figure, and you can do other things to it, it's, you want to adjust the, I'll, I'll show you how to adjust the things later but uh, right now we're going to uh, just kind of <laughs> show you what we got here uh, let's get rid of Simon and check him out now I want to I want to do a pose for him I don't even know if there is a pose for him but if I was to look for a pose I could uh, go over here and the import tab is closed if you click it uh, there's preset pose and material uh, you can go, got to go all the way back over here, libraries, and then find pose. And one cool thing about Carrera, while you're in this session, uh, this is a good time to bring your runtime in because uh, there is a, a, your path has already been set, and uh, Carrera goes and looks for that path, the last path you use. So this is a good time to bring your runtime in. But let me show you something. Uh, yeah, Crease has got some stuff, but I didn't know what Scare Me would look like. See, it's got some pretty cool stuff in there, but I didn't know what Scare Me would look like. But if you had the runtime in there, that would be a different story. So let's go ahead and add a runtime. Let's go ahead and go over to this little tab right here, File Folder Menu. We're going to add a runtime. We're going to go go all the way back over to where we started where it says poser 10 content and if you can't find it uh, you can go poser 10 this is in this is this is the Mac uh, finder so I don't I'm not really sure how the PC one works but if there is one you can go poser content and then go runtime and then it has all the stuff that you're looking for uh, keep it on runtime and then choose and you're going to get the option to it to uh, have import the runtime or the content. Go for the runtime. The content's just going to bring you empty file folders. So uh, you go in here. Let's do poses and see if we can find the creature ones. People. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's a people, I guess. Creech, creech, and there's all his. There's all his poses. Scare me hands out just like you'd expect what's up oh come on really there we go mess with me and he is a little shiny and you can mess with some stuff there but we're not going to stick on the creech we're going to this is just one of the uh, really really good models that you can get <clears throat> their female models are are really beautiful too um, let's uh, let's do Sydney. 
and I hate loading these up because uh, it kind of you kind of feel perverted open them up because they're all naked <laughs> anyway else have that problem or is that just me uh, let's see people uh, Sydney's pretty groovy Sydney G2 and it's much easier see how much easier it is to load everything from here as opposed to importing figures and it, there isn't just people figures in here there's there's multiple figures and they, they have full body morphs a lot of them do not all of them do like Sydney I don't think she does make a liar out of me oh mesomorph yeah I guess she does mesomorph makes her all muscular don't crash on me And oh, uh, something else I wanted to tell you about too. While we while we're in here, um, I was looking at uh, some of uh, Phil W's, um, Phil Wilkes uh, videos, and uh, I, I came across this cool tip that is going to help with rendering immensely. See how nice and bright and how everything is right here. If you throw on gamma correction, it doesn't cost you anything rendering wise. All right, but that's before gamma correction this is after you didn't have to do anything really special just to lighten things up and with with this too you can crank this up a little more if you need to you know depending on what you want to see how much you want to see see that so anyway so anyway this is our girl and uh, she's got a mesomorph on uh, let's go into parameters in her head and she's got really cool Smile, mouth open. Oh, she's gonna look like an idiot. We're not gonna hang on her too long either, because I I want to give you a kind of a really quick tour if I can. There we go. Look at that face. She's beautiful and evil at the same time. That's the main thing is she's beautiful. Look at that nice smooth texture. Uh, you can add. You can tweak it too in Carrera and this is this is one of the other cool things about Carrera um, let's lose her delete now go over here remove unused shaders because she would have left a lot of shaders behind and let's import some props oh no no, no. we don't have to do that anymore because it's in our runtime let's uh, let's do some props and the props have some really cool stuff too. There are places, uh, yeah, this is a really cool one. And look how easy that loaded, how quickly it loaded. Medieval guardhouse, and it has the it has the poser curse of the texture coming in kind of weird, but that can be tweaked in that can be tweaked in Carrera. You can make that work for you if you need to but it is really really nice check this out really well sculpted and molded and textured and you can you can tweak the textures if you need to it's a little bit glary because uh, all of posers content has a little bit of a highlight on it in varying degrees so um, yeah don't don't fault it for that it's still a really good model uh, let's see what else Let's do a couple more. Oh, let me show you one that's really good. Uh, vehicles. Convertible. Low res convertible, let's do that. Double click, it's gonna come in kinda quick. 69 bucks, this is all 69 bucks to add to my library. And I'll probably not use any of them. <laughs> is probably the deal but if I was to need them or want them they would be here at my disposal and it's like five gigs of content you gotta have a little bit of room on your system but it's uh, set up a lot better than it used to be too look at that very nice and this is the low res version of this so anyway there's there's quite a few more models uh, five gigs worth I can't go through all of them but I can sure oh here's another thing too naturals all those rocks and stuff that you need to pepper your scene, moss, 
random mushrooms and grass that's in here too got some construction things up here uh, this tavern takes forever to load oh this is in the props the character version of that is really hard to load uh, there's sci-fi corridor there's the groovy pad um, there's quite a few things in here if you don't have poser uh, as part of your toolbox you know because you're you know don't want to cheat on Daz I can I kind of get that a little bit but you're missing out all right it's only 69 bucks and you have a ton of stuff in here to add to your scene so and it and it comes in a lot easier than uh, career is native content sometimes so there's that anyway I just wanted to uh, uh, show this to you and give you an idea of how to get uh, posers runtime into your runtime uh, because it's a trick if you get poser at some point you're going to need to uh, or you're going to want to do that all right that's it for this time I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.